Manatee County also remembering the victims of the Pulse nightclub tra tragedy. A special service and event was held this evening in Bradenton commemorating the lives that were lost. ABC 7's Rick Adams talked with some of the people who were there. Well, there were a lot of folks at this event and a lot of emotion. The victims who lost their lives in this horrible massacre one year ago were being remembered. Members of the Manatee County community came together Monday night at Manatee Unitarian Universalist Fellowship to reflect on the 49 lives lost during the worst mass shooting in U.S. history at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. Corinne Woodland of Bradenton felt compelled to be at this event. It's very important to have a place where we can heal together and grieve together and talk about how we can move forward and make things better and safer. Healing is what took place here as the group prayed, heard readings, and sang some very touching songs. It's so important that we recognize and reach out and love one another during times like this when it seems like the world is such a hurting place. This is a time to look each other in the eye and say, I know who you are and I love you. One of the highly emotional parts of the event took place when the faces of all 49 people who had been killed were being shown, including Sarasota resident Edward Sotomayor Jr. Reverend Glenn Grotchek of the St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Palmetto led the gathering in readings and prayers. It touches all of our hearts, uh, whether we're part of the gay community or not, because um, because they're all of our sisters and brothers. A lot of the diversity was showcased with the different colored roses in the 49 different vases, representing each of the lives lost. It's an event that was hosted by Manatee Pride Prism Youth Initiative. Hope that people come away from this uh, with a sense of reverence and uh, resolve. And events like this were echoed everywhere. 49 lives lost, but certainly not forgotten. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.